Welcome back to Panero's Mind, guys. I hope everybody's been okay. I'm praying for everybody out here. Um, I hope you guys can do the same thing for me and for everybody else that's around you. And people that you don't know too, never forget. You have to pray for people that you don't know also, right? Now, in my videos, I'm always telling you guys to look up into the sky, right? I'm always saying that um, we talked about certain events that are going to be happening in the sky. Then we talked about the Bible verse that talks about we're going to be seeing different things in the last days and, and whatnot. As shown in Luke 21, verse 25, and there will be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and on the earth, this stress of nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring, this stress of nations. Mm. There's been a report in the last few days that we're getting some sort of message, like some sort of signal from the Milky Way. Now these signals yeah, that they're hearing in the Milky Way or whatever device they're using for it to pick up the signal uh, it's happening like every 16 days but for 4 days Now why, must, why do I think this is important? Well, you know how I talk when it comes to planetary systems and certain asteroids and, but we have to be very careful with this one my people we have to be very careful because what could this mean? This could mean, yeah, basically that an intelligence could be coming towards the planet, right? Now, it's very strange that these things are happening now, right? Because we're all locked up in our houses, yeah? It's, it's harder for everyone to be able to look up, like I keep telling you, because most of us are locked up in our houses, right? So, let's mix that, what's going on there, with these things that we're hearing, because this ain't the first time that they've heard signals in space. Now the CHIME telescope, right, are having problems picking it, picking up the uh, the waves or the signals because the signal is so powerful. So I think they're saying they, they can't really tell where it's coming from because the wave is so powerful. The CHIME's telescope. Now the reason I tell you yeah, to hold your horses when it comes to these type of stories right, is because of certain videos that I've seen in the past. In fact, one of the videos was my own video that I put up, uh, put together basically on um, Panero's Mind uh, Instagram, but I've actually changed the name now to Survival Minds Team. So if you want to find me, Survival Minds Team on Instagram. I'm sure if you put Panero's Mind in, it'll still come up. I'm sure it will. They have the technology to mimic the form, fit, and function of extraterrestrial UFOs. They have the technology, absolutely. It's seamless and you can never tell the difference. If they do have a false flag invasion, they're going to use one of these. This is the Hudson Valley Boomerang. This is 1982 to 1989. Over 25,000 eyewitnesses reported this craft. They can use the saucers, the cigars, the pyramids, the triangles as a united coalition and that's how they're, they're gonna do it. We're talking about 150 to 172 feet across for the wingspan, which is the identical wingspan of the B-2 stealth bomber. So the question we need to ask is, was some of that 22.4 billion used on the B-2 poured into this program? It's the exact same time frame when they power up and when they accelerate, um, it looks like a spark off a grinding wheel and you could never know the difference. So if they wanted to hoax an alien invasion, they could do it and they could do it in a way that's 100% believable. Don't forget to subscribe to Survival Minds Team on Instagram. If you can't find me, just type in Panero's Mind. I'm sure it will come up. I'll be posting a lot more on there now in the future. It was a good platform for awareness. A lot of things I talk about on there, I haven't done major videos to, but I will be. If it's necessary, if it's uh, something that's happening now. Yeah, but definitely uh, subscribe because there's a lot of awareness on there. Now in that video you clearly see the guy was saying that they have the resources to fake an alien invasion. Right? We don't know 
what they've been doing while we've been in our yard, right? For those that do stay in the house, right? We can't see their every movement of what they're doing, uh, especially overnight. And that's mostly the time where people are really getting pulled over and asked where they're going and stuff like that at night. So we can't really see what's being set up. We can, people are seeing the 5G towers, but what about the rest of it to go with it? Now, people out there for years have believed that there's gonna be a fake alien invasion. And some people feel that that's to do with the Antichrist, right? Now, let's just put that aside for a minute. And I wanted to share another video with you with this general talking some crazy stuff. But this is real footage, my people. This is real footage. But check this out. World of 1916 was complex. Or well, the world of 1945 was complex. The world of 2016 is intensely complex. And I can tell you that from personal experience, and I know there's many others who can tell you that as well. And you will graduate and be in that world. And you're going to be leading the soldiers and the sailors, the airmen and the Marines in that world. You'll be dealing with terrorists. You'll be dealing with hybrid armies. You'll be dealing with little green men. You'll be dealing with hybrid armies. You'll be dealing with little green men. You'll be dealing with little green men. You'll be dealing with little green men. You're going to be dealing with tribes. You'll be dealing with national leaders and local leaders. You'll be dealing with politics and economics, and you'll be dealing with direct fire and indirect fire, and you're going to be dealing with it all, and it's all going to be dealt with simultaneously. And for that, you're going to have to be ready. And that's why readiness, in my mind, uh, is number one. So I kid you not, that was a real press conference. There wasn't no, the, the, the words wasn't changed, the audio wasn't messed around with or nothing like that. That really happened. Like, he really said that an important press conference not like you know just some random joke dinner or something like that it was a real press conference you understand what i'm saying so keep that in mind like i'm not saying it is that what you're saying but keep that in mind that he actually said that right so a lot of people can go back into the ancient sumerian times and they'll be thinking about planet x you know if you don't know about planet x i, I suggest that you um research it i spoke about it in my, in, in my other videos and also uh, planet nubaru now some people believe that the anunnaki in the sumerian texas are the ones that inhabit nubaru and they're actually coming back now people believe that they they're the they're the ones that actually messed with our dna codes and made us into humans or spliced us or whatever they did and it also there's writings to say that these giants will be coming back you know um so we can go many different places with this and you have to just think about it might sound crazy to you right now but you just think about the times think about the times that we're living in right now you know um these are theories that people have been talking about for years right now there's something going on my people and i always knew there's something going on in the sky and the heavens you know, there's always, I've always thought like, you know, and I always keep my eye on, even though it's good to be based on earth and keep your mind, but people are forgetting, we're on the earth here, yeah? the sky is still above us, it's still above us, right, and we can't fly, so try to be more alert, my people, try to be more alert, so like I was saying, these are all different theories that are over the years, you know, the Anunnaki coming back, you know, and then in the Bible, you've got signs in the times, you know, the stars in the Bible that, you know, even down to the story of Jesus, and right? You have to start putting this all together. There's a reason why we're in our, in our, being stuck in our house. There's a reason why, and I know, I know that a lot of you know that it's got to be something bigger than this. You know what I mean? It's got to be something bigger than this. It has to be. What are they waiting for? Why do they keep suspending the time? You know? Now, with this now, I want to say, like, there's a lot of people out here right now seeing different things in the sky. And there's been actual 
Now, I don't really follow the news. I don't really follow the news, but there's actually been a lot of news uh, articles on people seeing things in the sky, like around now, around these times. Now, if you don't go, if you want to go on YouTube and type in Hip Hop Atlanta, you're not going to find these things. If you're going to go on that house party app, right? I, don't, I ain't been on this, I don't even know what they do. One of my friends told me what they do on there, and I mean, but. If you're going to do that, you're not going to find these things. That's what I'm trying to say to you. Right? Now. Take a look at these. Take a look at these uh, articles uh, that the news put out. There's been a recent spike in UFO sightings, but now some are reporting seeing snake-like cylindrical objects moving in the sky. One was even spotted over the state of New York. It's the UFO there. Got it in in the shot. The past few months, people from all parts of the country have claimed that they have captured strange objects in the skies on camera. But there's a specific sighting that is causing a frenzy. Take a look. The video, first published on YouTube by the user Tales From Out There, shows a snake-like stream of light spiraling across the sky. The user also claims that they saw a red orb-type object being dropped from the triangular figure just before they started filming. Now, this is a story that for some may be a little hard to believe. <laughs> Hear me out. U.S. Navy pilots are spotting UFOs, UFOs flying across the sky at hypersonic speeds. This is the United States Navy reported this, and it's a story first reported by the New York Times. No, we don't. We keep an open mind on it. We don't rule anything uh, off, you know, take nothing off the table with this. Our point really is that whatever these things turn out to be, there is a serious defense, national security, and air safety issue here. <laughs> so why aren't governments encouraging the population to, if they say about terrorism, if you see something, say something, report sightings to the government so we can make sense of this potential threat? <laughs> Have you ever seen anything like this before? Mm -mm. I know, this is awesome. I, I, I kept on calling the, um, the Bible eyewitness news. I'm like, there's something so cool outside. It looks like a UFO. I'm not for sure, but it's moving so slow and I'll stop. The Pentagon officially released three UFO videos, finally mm -hmm. admitting what we've known all the time. The government <laughs> has been concealing clear, convincing evidence mm -hmm. that aliens are not only real, but they fly among us. Interesting. Is that what this video shows us? I, I mean, it's incontrovertible. <laughs> you take a look for yourself It says right on there. the screen, Pentagon releases <laughs> UFO videos. Find Move. more at... It almost looks like they're, <clears throat> like they're all separate. Like, it doesn't look like one unit. But now, with more on this, is seemingly out of the world story. Okay, John, are there little green men Martians walking the Earth right now? Up a couple blocks. If you go up, it looks like it's shaped like a bee. If you go down, you can't see it at all. Do you know what time? Uh, no, I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> According to the Daily Star, the snake-like so-called UFO has been seen across eight states in the U.S. in 2019 alone. It's going over the lake now. However, skeptics say it could be anything from drones to satellite launches. Seeing flying objects in the skies these days has never been so common. We're all going against the wind. The wind's 120 knots from the west. Meantime, in September, the Navy confirmed UFO videos are real. In fact, the Navy was prompted to draft formal procedures for pilots and other personnel to document these encounters because of a recent uptick in strange sightings over the military airspace. Nick Carney is an ex-United States Marine Corps soldier who served in Afghanistan as an intel officer said in a statement, we have reports from various countries across the globe of witnesses seeing similar objects. I had no idea what it was. All I saw was something just, whoosh, just go real fast. Well, we saw it right through the trees. All across the United States. Kind of approached from over that direction. People reporting unidentified flying objects.
So you've seen the footage, you've seen the footage, right? Now, what I want to say is this. I think it's very strange how all this is going on with this corona rubbish, right? We're having all these signals, yeah? We're having signals now coming through from the elites, yeah? They're telling us that we're getting signals from Milky Ways and whatnot, right? How comes, yeah, a couple of days ago, the Pentagon, and if you don't know who the Pentagon is, it's a big governmental building in America, right? Top, top level, top flight security, yeah, top flight, <laughs> right? They just released three UFO videos, basically admitting that we're not here alone. I'm not joking. Check out these videos. If everything going on right now wasn't odd enough for you, take a look at this. The Pentagon releasing these videos of what they are calling unidentified aerial phenomena. They were filmed by some Navy pilots for the last two decades. This will wake you up. The U.S. military has, for the first time ever, officially released several videos of unidentified flying objects. Wow. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, if you will, look right here. Just when you thought 2020 couldn't get any more bizarre. My God. The Pentagon declassifying three videos of what they're calling unexplained aerial phenomena. <laughs> it's rotating. Two videos showing objects spotted by Navy fighter pilots during training flights in 2015. <laughs> And this one from 2004 showing an object about 40 feet long hovering about 50 feet above the water. Weird, right? Well, get this. The videos were previously leaked by a private company founded by Blink-182 rocker Tom DeLonge. The singer tweeting on Monday, the Pentagon just officially released my videos. Just saying. So why are they being released now? Okay. In the language of the U.S. Department of Defense, these are unidentified aerial phenomena, videos which add fuel to the belief of that's some that we are not that's alone. The first incident was filmed off the California coast in 2004, an oval shape hovering, and in the words of the Navy pilot who recorded this, not behaving by the normal laws of physics. What do we believe? Hmm. Is there going to be UFOs? You know what I mean? Uh, is there going to be like a fake UFO invasion? Or is the angels on their way here? It's the time gap. Do you understand what I'm saying? If anyone that knows the Bible would know, it's a time gap. We know that, I should say, people that know the Bible as well as me know that we have to go through a certain amount of things before a certain amount of things can happen. And that's how it goes. We got this to go through before this happens. And we know that. So we know that it can't just happen like, you know what I'm saying? So all I can really say is that they know something's out there. And that's that's really the only way I can put it right now. They know that there's something out there. And uh you had buckle up. Buckle up my people, because we got some we got some more signs coming. Some more signs. Don't think this over, it's not over yet. You know, but don't, you know, don't, I can't say to you, don't sit in your house. I can't tell you that, but stay active. Keep your brain active. Don't keep your brain between the four walls type. Like, still aim for your goals and still work on what you have to work on. Whether it's assignments, whether it's a business plan that you had, still keep going, like, just to keep the brain active. Like, even if it does all go pear-shaped, just do it to keep yourself active, all right? And I just want to leave them videos. If you go back and have a little listen, go back and have a little watch, okay? And uh, with that, I'm going to say like, share, and subscribe. Peace.